What is going on guys? John here for another food review. And today we are checking out Firehouse Subs. Oh, they don't have a drive through so we just went ahead and got the sandwich. Uh, we got the hook and ladder. Uh, it was, we got the light version by the way. Uh, it was $5.49 and then a donation of $0.21 cents to the firemen or something like that. Brought it to an even 6 bucks. So before we get into this video, I just want to share something with you guys that I found uh, to be rather interesting. I was looking online for a lighter option, something a little bit healthier, and I stumbled across the nutrition facts of Firehouse Subs. So just check this out. I think you'll find it interesting. All right. Welcome to the Firehouse Subs website. Now, I was perusing through their different sandwiches. Uh, here we have hot subs right here, checking out their different varieties or whatever, checking out uh, a lighter option. And so, you know, saw the veggie sub and thought to myself, man, that's got to be pretty, uh, pretty healthy, huh? Clicked on the veggie sub, went down to the nutrition facts and saw something pretty crazy. 45.4 grams of fat, 12.9 of saturated, 70% daily value for the total fat. Pretty crazy for a veggie sub. And then let's check out the other ones. Pastrami. 58% fat. The veggie sub has more fat than the pastrami. So I decided to put it to the ultimate test. Went to one of the worst items they have. The club on a sub with bacon, two different types of meat. Look at that thing. This has got to be more fattening than a veggie, right? It's not. 65% fat. Now, of course, they're all bad. But still, how shocking is that that the veggie sub is actually the most fattening sub at Firehouse? That's got to be pretty shocking to people who are ordering this sub thinking that the veggie is a lighter option when, in fact, the wool is being pulled over their eyes and it is one of the worst subs for you. Crazy. So anyways, back to the video now. All right, guys. Well, yeah, I found that information very shocking myself. I had no idea. I'd always assumed that something like that would be a better option when in fact it is not. So here is the firehouse sub and they included a pickle free of charge. They do that at every location. Some nice brown napkins. All right, let's open this bad boy up. All right, guys, let's get you in here for a close-up. All right, guys, well, here is the sandwich. We have the turkey and ham, lettuce, nice wheat roll, light mayo, a little bit of onion, and I asked for some jalapenos on there as well. So it looks pretty darn good, guys. So let's go in and check it out. All righty, guys, without further ado, the hook and ladder light variety from Firehouse Subs. Let's go. Mmm. Wow. Very hot, very tender. They actually steam the meat at Firehouse. Crazy. This roll is very nice as well. I guess this is the light wheat roll. Tasting those jalapenos. I added those specially. It doesn't normally come with it, but I just wanted to kick it up a little bit, so... This is the real deal, guys. It's pretty good. Look at all that meat on there. This is like an Arby sandwich, loaded with meat. Love it. A few more bites of this thing, and I'll let you know what I think. I love how they include a pickle with every sandwich. Really adds a nice touch. Gives it that deli style. Great crunch. Nice sour taste. Love it. All right, guys. Well, hey, that was a pretty darn good sandwich. Uh, lighter menu. Lighter menu we're doing. Uh, that was actually under 500 calories. It's like their hearty and healthy menu or something like that. So it was pretty good. Nice ham, nice turkey, good portion of meat. They even had the cheese on there and still managed to keep it under 500 calories. So not a bad sandwich at all, guys. Uh, $6 after the donation. It's like 550, so 
pretty good price too. So I don't know about you guys, but I was pretty pleased with this sandwich. I would definitely order it again uh, compared to something like a $5 foot long. Eh, you're getting a little bit less food, but I asked them and you actually get the same amount of meat on the lighter option on the little wheat roll as you would on their hoagie, like the larger sandwich. So it's same amount of meat, just less bread and other fattening ingredients like that, guys. So there you have it, guys. Nine out of 10 on the sandwich. Healthier option, trying to do things a little bit better every once in a while. Can't always eat the garbage. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I do appreciate it. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Please subscribe if you have not already. And until next time, guys, I will see you later.